Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll take a look at Arsenal 20 years in the future. Is Arsene Wenger still around? Is he in a Zimmer frame? Or will there be someone else? Let's hop in the TARDIS and find out. So welcome back, folks. Here we are, live in Football Manager 2018. I went on holiday for a good part of 20 years, returned before the season's climax on the 1st of May 2030. So just to take a look at where Arsenal are, in the football world, have they uh, have they managed to win a Premier League in the past 20 years or any European uh, exploits? But let's take a look at where they are first and foremost. So here they are, Arsenal. If you take a look at the top left-hand side, season still going on. They are third in the Premier League. And this is a bit of an overview of uh, their performances over the past 20 years. So it doesn't look too promising. They looked like a pretty crappy season here, finishing sixth. But all in all, above six. And I think... Looks like they've picked up a trophy, Premier League trophy, in the 2034-35 season. We'll take a look at that in a bit more detail in just a second. And let's take a look at something else that might be of interest to you. Your manager, Brendan Rodgers. So, that's a, I don't know how you guys feel about that. If um, if that's a plus point in 20 years from now, would you want Brendan Rodgers as our manager? Let's take a look how old is he. He must be knocking on 70. 64 years old. So, let's take a look at Arsenal. In fact, let's, in fact, let's go and have a look at your current squad. See what you, you you think of it. And yes, if you have watched my introduction club guy videos, which I did uh, last week, a bit rough around the gills myself. I've been out of the football manager world for a little bit, so trying to navigate it's a bit weird. But I've, I've customized the setup now so you can see a little bit. I'm not manager, so I can't see the full p potential and abilities of folks. But hopefully you can get a better indication of, of who we are. First and foremost, Arsenal fans, is there any player here that you recognize um, it's only 20 odd years, so you know, the likes of a 16 year old might be knocking around. Um, off the top of my head, I don't see any. Um, but let's take a look at um, the leagues. So, the past, this is where we begun right here. Uh, anything crazy? Let's take a look, scan up here. We finished second, runners up 2027 20, 28 season. Um, again, runners up 23. 2033-2034 season, and then finally winning it. First title under Brendan Rodgers, 2034-35 season. And last season, you finished fourth. However, this season, let's take a look at the current state of play. I think you've got three more games left, so realistically, you're not going to get it. Manchester City look like they're going to take this bad boy. Um, and another bit of tidbit information, Chelsea, current holders of the Premier League. Um, and there's a quick overview of the teams that are in the Premier League uh, 20 years from now, no real shocks, a lot of familiar faces, perhaps Notts County is the major addition to the Premier League, the rest, QPR on six spots, so it's another fierce London club to uh, to give you some competition, any major successes, lifted, you won the League Cup back in 2031, 20, 2030, 2031, beating Southampton, also lifted the World League Cup once again, 2033-34, beating Chelsea after extra time. In fact, you're back-to-back -back winners, uh, winning it against Man City. And Tottenham, oh, yeah, I bet you like that bad boy. So, um, some trophies there for for Brendan Rodgers and his boys. Meanwhile, in the FA Cup, uh, losing the final after extra time to Manchester City. They must have a, they must have a cracking uh, bit of history with all these trophies. Losing to Man United ugh, in the FA Cup final. Uh, kicking on forward, beating Tottenham in the FA Cup and Man City. So that's a bit of, a bit of good news. And uh, kicking forward, nothing. Semi-finals to Bournemouth. Interesting. Um, let us take a look at the Euro Cup, a.k.a. the UEFA Cup, I believe. You, so you took part in this a few times. You won it on the season, that uh, the current season, 2017-2018, beating Milan in the final. And then you were in it two years later, Lifting it once again, beating Sevilla on penalties. Um, clicking down over the years, lost to Madrid in the second round. Lost in the semi-finals to Monaco. Lost in the semi-finals to uh, them Scousers, Liverpool in the semis. And again, second round to Wolfsburg. But I'm sure you're more interested in this bad boy. The Champions League. Uh, losing in the knockout round on aggregate. Third in Group C. Lost uh, first knockout. Quarterfinals, semi, semi, semi. Lost in the final to Chelsea. Quarterfinals. Chelsea seem to be a bogey team for you. 
getting beat by Paris Saint-Germain in the semi-final, also losing to Paris Saint-Germain once again in the final. But this time, 2034-35, Brendan Rodgers and his Arsenal Gooners beating Paris Saint-Germain in extra time to pick it up. And then the next season, losing in the final to uh, Real Madrid. And then um, it looks like this season, losing to Atletico Madrid in the knockout round. Um, let's take a look at your best 11 over the years. This is the uh, current best 11. So players from 2017 to the present day. Um, these are the players on averages have, have been their best performers. Some crazy numbers here. Cornelius and 700 appearances for, for Arsenal. Uh, Mustafi, he makes it in there. Ballerine makes it in there. But no Sanchez, no Ozil. A lot of these guys. This guy, Icardi, I think he's an actual player that uh, we might be familiar with. Argentinian fella. Um, back in the day, was on Barcelona's books, Sampdoria's books. Um, and in the present day, as at Inter's books. I think he was signed. I had a little sneak peek at the history of Arsenal here. I do remember them signing him on the season that uh, I think Sanchez left. But anyway, let's take a look back at your um, players of the season or the team of the season. So here we are with Sanchez and Ozil. More familiar lineup for you. Koscielny. Um, and then slowly but surely, a lot of these players are going to get replaced. Looks like Ozil and Sanchez gone. Uh, Martins, Lozano. Uh, in there, Ramagoli in, 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 in the centre back there. Milikinovic, Savo, uh, um, that's an easier name for you guys to say. Um, slowly but surely, the team changes. Mustafi's still sticking around, Bellerin's sticking around, Corneliusson's now in there, and he ain't going to go away for a long chalk. Icardi's doing the business, um, staying in there. 21 goals for Joao Olivia, uh, leading the line. Um, in the 2026-27 campaign. In fact, Milinkovic Savic got 12 goals from midfield. In fact, it's quite a quite a uh, decent looking side here uh, for Arsenal back in the day. Kick it on forward, Olivia, another 22 goals. He seems to be leading the line uh, quite uh, consistently. A little dip in form, perhaps, in the 2029 season. A lot of uh, below average numbers. David Van Poke comes in with 20 goals from the right-hand side of midfield. Um... And a new striker, Ibai Arasti, 21 goals for the Gooners. And kicking onwards. Another 24 goals for Ibai Arasti. Uh, Van Pukki doing his business. So let's take a look at the records. Most goals in a season. 29 for Akadi, way back when. Second season. In fact, that was his debut season. Uh, he also got 26 a couple of years later. Uh, and then Ibi Arasti is now your main man, scoring a fair bunch of goals. Uh, most goals in uh, a match. Let's take a look at most goals in a match. Just looks like some uh, hat trick is the most um, most assists in a season. Johan Thomas, 22 for the season. That's your record breaker right there. Take a pause if you want to have a look at that in more detail. Uh, your youngest player. Nobody younger than 16. In fact, uh, Kyle Williams, 16 and 103 days. Nope. Ricky Henry, 16 and 71 days. It looks like he's your record breaker. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Oldest player, Corneliuson right now. Uh, but we have here, Sergi Milinkovic Savic, 37 years old. Peter Cech, knocking on 38 before he uh, either retired or moved on to pastures new. Fastest goal. Let's look like at fastest goal. 20 sec, 22 seconds, Olivier Giroud. We like a bit of that. Meanwhile, Sergi Milenkovic, 11 seconds. Uh, he must have been a player for the Gunners. Let's have a look at your transfer fees. I'm sure there's going to be some massive numbers in here. Look at this. That's, that's a bit poor. That's like, uh, that's like conference level transfer fee. Matt Macy, 68,000. That was your record in the first season. Lucas, uh, this is received. Okay, That's, we'll have a look at the spending in just a second. The biggest transfer fee received, 30 million, Pito Pellegrini. So that's concerning. So it looks like Sanchez and, and, and maybe Ozil left on a on a free. 30 million for Pito Pellegrini. Um, that's your record. So that's, that's, that's not good business. So maybe when... Um, when Wenger went, the business went out the door. Anyway, let's have a look at the most spent. 51 million, Mario Accardi. Big money right there. Ricardo Rodriguez, 45 million. There's no 100 pound player. 77. Okay, we're getting the big, big bucks here. 77 million. Ibi Arasti from Juventus. That's what we're talking about. And meanwhile, let's have a look at um, 
landmarks. This is a, this is a quick overview of what went down. Chairman Chips Keswick, he left at the end of the 2018 season. Dan James joined him, he left. Um, owner Stan Kroenke, he leaves. He's got a few more years left, folks. 2024, David Andrews fails with a takeover bid. New chairman, David Andrews, takeover consortium. Dun, dun, dun. So that's a, a thing. Hopefully you guys are happy with that. Um, meanwhile, club fails Premier League financial play regulations. Ugh. Club fails Premier League fair play transactions. Chairman David Andrew leaves. So this looks like an unstable period despite um, some some glory in here. New chairman, Rory Merritt takes over. But again, they continue to fail their fair play regulations. So something went down um, uh, in the financial state of the club. So that's your lot, folks. That's a quick overview of Arsenal in 20 years' time uh, under the guidership of Brendan Rodgers. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with any FM18 content I do. Moving forward, I'll be working on a couple of game saves. I've got a couple of stories in the pipeline that I hope to go live on Twitch and also do a summary on YouTube. So stand by for those. But until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.